how to remove the LED display from the Fujitsu P8020 notebook computer. First, remove the screws holding the LCD in place on the hinges on each side. And then go up about one inch and you see this little round black sticker covering up a hole and another screw on each side. Remove them as well. And once you have done that, you want to move toward the top of the LED and you will see there are one, two, three, and four screws. And you want to remove these too. They are covered by a square sticker each. So make sure you remove the sticker first. Now, once I've removed all the screws from the LCD case, I will use a tool to pry open the top from the bottom shell and remove the LED panel. I could use a very thin flat headed screwdriver or a piece of metal like this. And I will just begin from the bottom near the hinge. And once you have loosened the latch, work your way up in the gap and pop them open one by one. Now I am working on the other side of the frame and the tip to make it easier to free the frame from the latches is that when you're trying to pry it open, use a little bit more force. They're quite resistant, so you wouldn't damage them if you insert the tool at the right angle. And now they are freed. The next step is to remove the frame from the top side and it should snap off quite easily. Just pry it open and now it's kind of free and you still have to remove the bottom side. To remove the bottom side of the frame, it helps if you push down or a little bit while snapping it off and the frame should come off at this point. And now the LED panel is exposed. As you can see, this is the uh, webcam module on top. And this is the LED panel, which can be easily removed from the back cover. On the lower back side of the LED panel, you find this cable which attaches from the main computer to the control module seen here. And there's no obvious sign of a backlight source, unlike LCD, which uses a fluorescent light bulb. On the LED, it uses some tiny LED to provide a backlight. And usually they're located either along the top or the bottom of the LED, hidden underneath the tape or something else. However, since I have an identical LED assembly with the control module, it will be easier for me just to replace it, the whole module instead of trying to open it up just for the purpose of troubleshooting. And uh, when you try to remove the cable, be careful with the PCB because it's very thin and you could damage it easily. Peel away the plastic covering the connector and gently pull the connector out of its socket like this and once it's removed the LED panel is completely free to be substituted with the other one. And here is the other LED panel with the control module on the back side, which I will use to substitute. Before I reassemble the LED 
and the case I would like to test it with a minimum amount of assembly so I would like to turn on the computer and see if it works and here it is powering on oh unfortunately it looks like there's no backlight and it's the same symptom as before I replaced the panel and since I know that this new panel is good there must be another cause for this problem in order to remove the display cable that connects the main board to the LED panel I have to remove at least one screw from the CPU fan that is keeping the bracket which is holding down and securing the cable Upon close examination of the display cable, I found a very small detached wire on the right side, which I think caused the display not to get the backlight. And therefore, I will need to replace this cable. After I've replaced the cable, the LED is working again. The backlight is working. 